Hello and welcome to a new episode of Dear Ficom. It's been a while since I've been on. My name is Candace Carlton. I'm head of consulting and innovation at Ficom Partners. So as we answer these questions, I think the thing to think about if you're watching it is the things that we're sharing are relevant to you if you're a solopreneur advisor or if you're an advisor at a big RA platform where there's hundreds of you and you're in big teams. So this is a really exciting question. I like, got so moved by it when I started doing research on it. So Sarah Young from Live and Give reached out and she said that she'd love to get started with video content for both marketing and education purposes, but she feels intimidated by the editing process. I get it, Sarah. I get it. She's like, she has a great setup. Thank you to a professional video producer friend. And she's comfortable in front of the camera, but getting started with high impact editing is causing her to not get started. Her ideal client are medical residents finishing training and moving into their big income jobs. So Sarah, hello and welcome. And thank you for submitting your question. First of all, I looked at your website and you've got your intro video and I agree. I was so moved. I got goosebumps as I was watching your video because you have such an authentic presence. It's beautifully shot and you have such an authentic and compelling story. So I could see why you're leaning to creating videos. First of all, they're super high impact, but also it feels to me like you are a natural and have a gift for being on video. So I think when you're thinking about your video creation journey, there's lots of technical reasons in my experience that can cause you to not get started. And what I have experienced in video creation, both for myself as well as clients that I work with, that it's a momentum game. So the more you start creating videos, the more momentum you build and the easier and easier it becomes, not only of like figuring out what content to create, making sure you're consistent with the schedule or like showing up beautifully, but also by solving problems proactively. Like it's all of a sudden like the problems that you thought were like so big in the beginning of your journey, when you're a bit further along, you're like, I can solve this, no problem. So if you have something holding you up from creating content that you know is going to be super valuable for people, your prospects or clients, you have such a compelling story of like really wanting to leave a legacy and helping people with their money. The impact of not creating those videos is you don't get to do, you don't get to do as much as you possibly could. You don't get to share content or helpful advice that may be relevant for people who may never become a client, but the gift that you have isn't able to be received by other people. So I think that's the first thing to really like keep in mind and to think about is, is it really about the fact that you can't solve for editing? Usually the answer is it's actually not, but it's like something in our brain that just like causes us to pause and stall and not move forward. And it's usually just fear and it's lack of momentum in building your uh, practice around video creation. So I have a couple of recommendations. The first thing is, uh, the first question to ask yourself is where are you posting these videos and do you actually need editing? Like for example, could you just be shooting these on TikTok and repurposing? Or could you just shoot a video without editing? Is the editing going to add so much value that it's not worth creating the videos without it? I would say that that's probably not true because today, right now, in today's digital environment, authentic non-edited video is doing exceptionally well across social media, as well as even in emails when people are sending them out because people feel like they've got an authentic vibe and tone. So the question to ask yourself is like, can you start creating these videos and can you produce them in a way that you're not gonna have editing and it's actually like really cool, really authentic and high value. So that's the first question. The second question are, there's some really simple tools out there. Animoto is a really simple one. Um, I'll see if we can put in some other links for a really easy video editing. The question to ask yourself though is like, should you be editing these videos right now? Do you have the time and capacity and or should you just be creating videos that don't need to be edited? Third question is, can you outsource it to someone inexpensively? Go on Fiverr and find a video editing expert. So when I think about creating videos, the first place I would recommend anyone at any stage of their um, video creation journey start spending money is on video editing. And so the question to ask yourself is, does this actually need editing? Can I do it myself or is it going to require too much time and is it actually worth it to outsource it? So I hope that's helpful. We'll put some tools down below in case you want to DIY it. Otherwise, I'd recommend you go to Fiverr or you just start creating without any editing. People need 
what you have to say. And so I'd recommend that you just start creating girl because those, that video on your website totally moved me. And I'd love to see more videos from you. Thank you.